we're going to end on, on a poem. Um, Lois Holub is going to give us uh, a brief poetry reading. And then as we filter out, the Raging Grannies are going to sing us a song. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know how this works. Can you hear me? This is um, from Stimson Forest, which has become a sanctuary for me. And if you don't know it, visit. How I Saved the World. And I start with a quote from Ursula K. Le Guin. The word for world is forest. It was the earliest I'd been in the woods, maybe ever. Too many scorching days in a row and too hot to sleep before 3 a.m., I still managed to get up and out a mere hour past sunrise. The trailhead offered shade while the sun filtered down in warm shadows and cool light. But sometimes, even though I'm in the forest to forget the words, my thoughts keep pace with my footsteps. I talk to world leaders, demanding climate action and accountability. I talk to radio callers and tell them which books to read next. I exhort the guy upriver with the NRA sign and Confederate flags covering his windows to, for God's sake, change the channel. I tell Ukraine, I'm trying. I tell Rachel Maddow and the ghost of Mary Oliver, I'm trying. I tell school teachers and doctors without borders, I'm trying. I tell my small grandsons and my garden and my own conscience, I'm trying in my head. I'm trying to figure out how to save the world. This morning, when I realized after passing the ancient cedar sentry around the second curve of that long trail that I was still in my head and not in the moment, I stopped. I mean, I stopped walking. I stopped thinking and trying and deliberating the words and I just stood there in the woods breathing and everything came alive. I mean, everything I breathed in was living. The hidden songs of the thrush and the wren, the call of the bullfrog and chatter of chipmunk, the silence of the ferns. I inhaled the breath of the ancestors, taken in and released again by these very trees. I inhaled the past and exhaled the present right into the future. The longer I stood there still and listening, the deeper each breath became, warmed by morning light, cooled by dragonfly wings over the pond like a taste of tenderness. And in that short eternity, in those still, precious moments, with all my senses alive, I was not the bird song. I was not the trees. I was not even a woman. I was the whole world, and I was saving myself. <laughs>